The Cayman Islands, a beautiful tax-free paradise in the Caribbean with close proximity to the US, to Canada, amazing infrastructure that is way better than other Caribbean islands, for example, St. Kitts or Antigua, they're also tax-free. Cayman Islands has much better infrastructure, much better networking opportunities. A lot of very wealthy investors and entrepreneurs, they go to the Cayman Islands, take advantage of their zero tax policy, as well as crypto investors that go and start a company in the Cayman Islands and they benefit from the tax policy. We're gonna look at how you can live or start a base in the Cayman Islands with their zero tax policy and all the requirements and potentially the way that you can qualify for citizenship through living in the Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands have two types of residence permits. They have the temporary residence permit, which is a 25 year residence permit. Most countries give you a year or two, they give you 25 years. And they also have the permanent residence permit, which obviously is permanent. You can stay there as long as you like and your family can also stay there as long as you like. So let's say you want to do the temporary one that is a 25 year residence permit. You do need to spend 30 days per year in the Cayman Islands. They don't need to be continuous. So you could be one week, get out a couple months, another week, get out a couple months, another week until you hit that 30 day mark, but you do need to hit it every single year. The requirements are 1.2 million invested into real estate in the islands as well as showing an income of 145,000 US dollars or having $480,000 in a Cayman Islands bank account. That is basically all of the requirements as well as you can just live there 30 days per year. You can get temporary residence and your family can also get temporary residence. The Cayman Islands does not offer citizenship by investment. They offer citizenship by residence, which we'll talk about in a second. I know a lot of people are thinking of, oh, can I get a British passport through the Cayman Islands? They're a British overseas territory, so they technically cannot give out their citizenship without approval from Britain, which they will never get in order to do citizenship by investment. If you actually wanna get the citizenship, we'll touch on it after the permanent residence. If you wanna get permanent residence, that is a double of the investment from the temporary, you're looking at 2.4 million invested into real estate. But in this case, you only need one day per year in the Cayman Islands. So it actually makes your life a lot easier. You don't need to spend time there. I've heard from a lot of people that spend a lot of time in the Cayman Islands that love living there. They say the infrastructure is great. The healthcare is great. It is a different lifestyle than other Caribbean islands. For example, Puerto Rico. It is much more developed than Puerto Rico, much more luxurious than Puerto Rico because of the types of people that live there, because of the types of people that you can encounter there and meet and network with. If you do the permanent residence with the 2.4 million invested into real estate, that'll get you a beautiful place, a beautiful villa that you can get there after five years you can get a BOT passport, British Overseas Territory Passport. With a British Overseas Territory Passport, you can then apply after 12 months, so five years to get the BOT passport, 12 months to get the British passport, and then you can become a British citizen without paying taxes to the UK. That's the beauty of it. If you want to get a British passport with really good visa-free travel and overall respect around the world, but you don't want to live in the UK and pay their high taxes, you could live in the Cayman Islands, invest into permanent residence, and then work your way towards a British passport that way. Another beautiful thing about the Cayman Islands is that the real estate that you're getting for the temporary and the permanent is on the open market. There is no government approved real estate, like in the case of the Caribbean islands for citizenship by investment. You're typically overpaying a lot for the property, sometimes the properties are not even done. Sometimes they might even screw you over for the properties. In the case of the Cayman Islands, you are yourself picking a villa, a beautiful house that you see on the open market. You can negotiate with them. Maybe it's 2.6 million, you negotiate down to 2.4 million and you do it for the permanent residence that obviously attracts a lot of people that they can just buy a beautiful house in the Cayman Islands and get citizenship that way. If you're also interested in acquiring land in the Cayman Islands, there are no restrictions on foreigners acquiring land. You can pretty much do it on the open market as well if that's something you're interested in. I've talked to a lot of wealthy entrepreneurs here on the channel that are interested in buying land in different countries. I was talking to one gentleman, he's buying land in Puerto Rico and lots of it. He could potentially also buy land in the Cayman Islands and other Caribbean places that allow him to buy land on the open market. Other things you might care about when it comes to actually living in the Cayman Islands, I've heard from a lot of people that actually live there. They say that 
Yes, it can get boring like many other islands, but you can go from Grand Cayman, for example, take a boat over to the other islands. If you have a yacht, you'll definitely enjoy it. In the Cayman Islands, you could go really quickly to the US as well if you want to visit your family in the US or Canada as close proximity, good connectivity to the United States as a whole. So you can definitely benefit from that. And if you're interested in healthcare, they have really good doctors. They have a lot of doctors in comparison to the overall population, as well as schools and services for your children and yourself. Overall, the education in the Cayman Islands is great. They have a lot of British, a lot of American schools that your children can take advantage of and have a great education. In comparison to other islands, I've talked to many people that spend time in the Cayman Islands, that spend time in other islands in the Caribbean. They say that the highest quality of life, the highest quality place that you can live in the Caribbean would be the Cayman Islands, obviously, if you have the money to actually go through one of these programs. Something else to consider in the Cayman Islands is obviously they are impacted by hurricanes. All of the Caribbean, except I would say Barbados, is impacted by hurricanes, even though they are not as impacted or not as heavily hit as other islands, like for example, Puerto Rico, the Cayman Islands does still suffer some hurricanes some impact from these particular natural events. So you do need to keep that in mind when spending a lot of time in the Cayman Islands. You don't need to spend there all year. Like I said, with the temporary residence, you get 30 days. With the permanent residence, you get one day per year. So if you have a considerable net worth, let's say you're worth 30 million, 50 million or more. I was talking to a gentleman here worth over 200 million. He was thinking, let me just get permanent residence in the Cayman Islands, it's a good place to live compared to all the different ones in the Caribbean. I have a place to go in case I wanna get out of Europe or get out of Asia or the Middle East. And that's definitely something that could be part of your strategy of your worldwide wealthy expat plan in order to have different bases all over the world. You could have a base in Dubai, zero tax country. You could have a base in Portugal and do the NHR or do the golden visa. You could have a base in Thailand, for example, and then you could have a base in the Cayman Islands. And then you have bases all over the world in countries that are either tax free, territorial tax that don't tax your foreign income, as well as just you don't spend enough time in those countries to become a tax resident. In that case, getting a property in the Cayman Islands, and then you could work towards a British passport as well later on if that's something that you're interested in. I definitely recommend the Cayman Islands to anybody that is looking for a tax-free place, no BS, absolutely zero hassle, that is different from, let's say, Dubai and the UAE or other countries that might have a different type of lifestyle. Maybe you wanna be close to the United States and you don't wanna be in a low infrastructure island, like let's say St. Kitts or Antigua. You wanna be in a high infrastructure, great networking islands like the Cayman Islands, then that's definitely a great fit for you. If you need help moving to the Cayman Islands or moving to any other country or setting up a base in a tax-free or tax-neutral country all over the world, getting residence permits, doing citizenship by investment. I can help with all of that. Just go to wealthyexpat.com slash apply. Let's get on a one-on-one -on -one strategy call and see if my service works for you and I can help you build out your Wealthy Expat plan. And if you're wanting to learn more about tax-free places all over the world, what places respect your wealth, welcome it, and are not gonna tax you, check out the video that is going to pop up right here, the top 10 tax-free countries and also capital gains tax-free countries all over the world. It's gonna be really insightful. Subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button down below. I look forward to seeing you on the next videos.